Hi, my name is Baina Warfield. I'm 23 years old. And my question is, should the president address the growing anti-war sentiment in this country? Thank you very much from North Carolina. Mr. Sapphire? Uh, of, of course he has to. Um, it's, it's top of gay. And he's made a speech two weeks ago uh, exclusively about this, about his plan. And uh, the reaction to it has been certainly negative on the part of uh, most Democrats. But, of course, they have not come up with an alternative. Uh, what they're going to do is pass a resolution that's non-binding, that says you really ought to bring our uh, boys home, and, and women too. Uh, and uh, that registers their uh, irritation, uh, their disagreement, but uh, does not provoke a constitutional crisis. Uh, and what the president will do tonight, uh, I certainly hope, is devoting the first two-thirds of the speech to uh, uh, what's going on and his ideas for uh, getting out of that lame duck uh, mode and coming up with real plans for our domestic side, for immigration, for health, particularly for health, and AIDS in Africa, and uh, a lot of important things that don't get on the the front pages that are wiped out by the uh, uh, concentration of effort on uh, Iraq. And then the final uh, third of his speech uh, should deal with uh, uh, his strong feeling that uh, we should give a, uh, a real final effort uh, and not accept defeatism because this is a, a war on terror and there is going to be the terrible fallout if we uh, just decide to uh, bring our troops home uh, in the course of the next year. So in watching the speech and judging the speech, uh, I would, and you know, I'm, uh, uh, I'm a Republican, I'm a right winger, I'm a hawk. Uh, I'm disappointed, uh, as many of us are, with the, uh, the conduct of the war and the way things uh, have been going. So I want to see a, a change in strategy. And that's what the president is going to be uh, pressing, that change in strategy. All right. Thank you, Mr. Sapphire. Mr. Sorensen? To the question, uh, should the president address the anti-war sentiment uh, in this uh, country? I agree with the first two words of uh, Bill's uh, answer. Of course. I, dis <laughs> <laughs> I disagree with almost everything else he said. So it happens that yesterday I was called at home by a CBS producer who wanted me to answer a very similar question for a Katie Couric broadcast tonight, or a blog, or both. And the question boiled down to what is the single most important objective of this speech if you were advising President Bush? And I said his single most objective must be to regain his credibility with the American people and with the Western world. And having lost that credibility by words, which turned out to be largely false, on Iraq, he must not repeat words that are false on Iraq, such as we're winning, it's all going well, and the new surge is going to take care of all of our problems there. Instead, he should, for the first time, admit error, say things aren't going well, and then maybe he'll get his credibility back, or at least start down that long road. But Ted, uh, isn't that what he did uh, two weeks ago? No, he certainly did not. He we didn't disagree. admit any error that I heard. 